Can you see it? Look closer. There it is, right there. I have a brain tumor sitting right there. My brain tumor is wrapped around my optic nerve. And when my symptoms are their worst, um, the tumor grows to a point where it compresses my optic nerve and it um, causes a loss of vision, which could eventually lead to blindness. Just squeezes, just, just squeezes it. This tumor's taught me a lot of things and I've had four surgeries on it to date. Yeah, for, I guess for the past maybe, you know, 15 years, I've been having surgeries on my tumor. Um, the reason I'm having multiple surgeries is because um, they can't get it all because of the proximity to my optic nerve. And even subsequent, uh, the radiation isn't necessarily the best option because of the proximity to my optic nerve. So that whole being able to see thing is pretty critical and crucial for me. This is not a death sentence. One, it's not cancerous, it's benign which is awesome for me, but it's taught me a lot of different things, my tumor. My tumors taught me, um, I mean, I've pretty much lived a really healthy life. I'm in my mid thirties now, and I only started drinking maybe a couple of years ago. I had a grandfather that like, he never drank, or at least he told me he never had a drink or he never smoked. And um, I really looked up to him and I wanted to be just like him. So I decided to try my best to walk in his footsteps. And my father was a very, very bad drunk. Still is a very bad drunk. I had another post. Um, my father's an alcoholic. My father's a drunk or something. I'll link that here. And I didn't like what I saw from people that used drugs. I didn't understand drug abuse versus drug use versus recreational. I didn't understand any of that. And to an extent, I still really don't. But my tumor has taught me that no matter how much basketball I played, no matter how much clean eating I did, I got a brain tumor. A brain tumor. Nothing matters. Like you think it does. You can try to do your best. Try to cover all your bases. Go to the gym, pump that iron, Lots of cardio, go vegan, Atkins, count your points, Jenny Craig. I don't know, you can try everything in the world. I've got three children, great kids, all three. And some people might say something like, you know, and I wrote a whole post on this over at our reasonabledose.com. Um, check the description below and you'll find the uh, link to the full article about what my tumors taught me because there's so many things that are that has taught me and the biggest thing is nothing matters and for those that don't have any life-threatening um, encounters with mortality mortality like I have you'll say oh you've got three kids and you don't don't you want to what the hell does having three kids do for me the individual yes it's a selfish position that I'm taking but to some degree we all have got to be a little bit selfish we have to be. What's up, kid? You by yourself? You by yourself? Yeah. Okay, I'm still recording. I said I'm still recording. That was my son that just came in. Just got a new job. Whatever. Doesn't really affect me. But it's interesting. Can you close that? Real quick. Thanks. He's got to live his life. So do my daughters. Everyone does. So do I. This tumor, it can take me. Every time I go under the knife, I may not wake up. That's rough stuff when you think about it. So what should I do? Live only for them? I wanna to go to Egypt maybe. See the Sphinx. Guy's nose fell off. I'd like to go check that out. But if I live my entire life for them, what does that get me? That's what the tumor taught me. The tumor taught me that I need to consider me just a bit. A bit more than I do. A bit more than my grandmother with eight children who never worked. 
who ta she tabled everything. No diseases, no ailments, no sicknesses, you know, just the typical old person stuff. But because she hadn't had anything confront her, mortal existence, like this tumor has with me, you're never faced to confront it. That's why a lot of people say when they have um, cancer or chemo and then all of a sudden they say, that's when my life began. That's what having a tumor taught me. You gotta make time for you. You gotta do what's best for you. You don't hurt anyone else. You don't neglect them or forget about them. You can't put their needs totally above your own, can you? So if you've had a life scare, a tumor, a disease, an ailment, something that kills people, I wanna know what it taught you. Follow me on Instagram and leave that in the comments. I really wanna know how that affected you. How'd you start living your life afterwards? Cause me, I've, I haven't started to travel yet, but I will. There may be some relationship changes for me in the future. I don't know. My son's going off to college. I'm literally watching the world go by. My daughters will be older. Also, they will have to live their own life and I want them to. But where does that leave me with this thing in my head? It's literally, my tumor is always on my mind. We gotta live, don't we? That's what my tumor taught me. I just don't know where I've been or where I'm going. It knows. It's got a timetable. I've got an expiration date and I don't know when that is. My tumor constantly reminds me of that. I gotta live.